Most people in life would look at how do I make a life worth living and retire with having. Usually and typically that is done by not being an abuser of someone else's life. Since the time of arrival into this community more than a year ago, looking for starting over in life as both a pagan priest to produce a ministry, an actual church for people like me who have interest in God like me, I have been sexually assaulted, physically abused, and constantly tracked in a way that I'm not amused. My beard, once again this morning, despite sleeping on a property that should be for God's glory, has been cut, and I do not value the local police department at all. You see, police officers use technology and their friends in different types of communities and different types of professions to help them to stalk, to mob, and to attack people that they just choose aren't good enough for their lives. The problem with that is that when you say that honestly, when you say that truthfully, you always have some bastard, monstered person from some sort of community that wants to play a game. All this last week, I had some total stranger driving up to me, trying to provide me some sort of food, some sort of information, perhaps, and some sort of ministry card saying that God loved me. Well, congratulations. If God loved me, then one of the companies or one of the churches that I was visiting and attending last year would have taken hold and tried to be a real support to someone going through struggle, going through cybercrime, going through assault, and going through, well, fraud on his life. But that never really exactly happened. But what people do like to do is gang up, lie, steal, and cheat people out of their lives. And I don't have to continue to like this community. But what I know is that I have a bastard molesting brother that keeps showing up and doing his little drive-bys, and he's the one that participated in harming my life with his lies. What I also know is that there's been companies that will allow their Chinese, their Oriental, their Indian, and their alleged Christian or Muslim employees to participate in a lie. Companies do this every day. We've been proving it for more than a year and a half that there is serious risks to corporations and the risk management that we typically teach companies is how to make sure they hire employees that will not put them at financial litigation or lethal risk. What we're talking about is the truth of the world today, that there are people that come here from foreign lands, lie about having birth certificates of being here, and then they infiltrate corporations. We've seen it many times that someone will say, well, I'm from California, or I'm from Boston, and therefore there is allegedly no proof of who they are. But what we also know is that there's a stalking group in almost every ethnic group that will use their little network maliciously to harm someone. We already experienced that with a company that's just a smear garbage pickup corporation. What we've seen in that Hispanic employee is a constant dereliction of duty, a constant interference with human life, and a constant attack on a private citizen's life. They don't have the right to do that. They don't obviously give a shit about the city ordinances that give safety to a community or the ability for a person in a community to complain correctly to law enforcement. What we do know is that we have law enforcement little girls who will actually wake someone up and say, this is the city police, I'm just checking on you. I'm like, I'm asleep, why do you need to check on me? Do you walk into someone's home and wake them up and check on them? I don't think so. Do you constantly listen to a 20 year old who's been hacking a computer or hacking a phone? on behalf of their corporation during their free time? I don't think so, but you continue to do that in violence and in attack. You see, communities don't like poverty, but they do very little correctly to fix it. It's not that people can't get jobs today, it's will that job pay for a life today? Or will that job keep that person in a subservient position to someone who has no rights to their life today? We have to be very clear with our employees about what is and is not their lawful right, not only on Wi-Fi, but on behalf of a corporation. 
we have several employees that we would recommend highly to companies to fire immediately except our problem we run into is that companies in the retail world are desperate for employees they're desperate for two reasons that we live in a state we live in a nation we live in a country that does not regard food preparation as it should be you see the deliverance of food the preparation of food and the service of food is one of the highest honoring type of jobs that people do in the land foreigners come here knowing that and they take advantage of that it's a dereliction of an American citizen's duty to not train their child to be willing to participate in the life cycle of people through the deliverance of quality safe untainted food